Hi, I'm Linda Augsburg from Make It Mine Magazine. T. Ben Doon, our associate editor, is going to show you how to emboss velvet using a rubber stamp. To emboss velvet with a stamp, in order to make a pretty little shape like that embossed into the velvet, you need a stamp that has a large design carved into it. You don't want to have a lot of intricate details because it is, after all, going to be in the velvet and it won't show up very well <laughs> if you have too much detail in there. So you want a large stamp, large cuts in it. Then you will take your velvet and you actually lay it with the nap side down onto the top of the stamp so that the back, the side that you won't be looking at, is facing up and the side that you will be looking at is touching the stamp. Then you'll need to wet the back using spray water or you can use another method if you prefer, but make sure it's nice and wet. And then you will take your iron, which is set to the setting that the fabric is. So this is actually set for rayon. Um, well, it's between wool and cotton, but that would be the rayon setting if this iron had rayon on it. And, because that's what our velvet is, then you'll press. And you can hear the sizzling water underneath. That's actually heating up the stamp. And if you have a large, really large surface, you can move the iron around. You just want to keep pressing it in until that water dries. If you're going to move your iron, lift it off of the surface and reposition it. Do not slide it. If you slide it, you will end up uh, smudging the pattern into the stamp. And when you're finished, you will have an embossed impression of the stamp.